it's June the uh, 4th today, and uh, I thought I haven't done look at these potatoes. But you know, I think this may be the last one because <clears throat> they don't seem to be thriving anymore. But there's still some interesting growth patterns that you that would be of, I think of uh, great interest to see. <clears throat> well, let me show you those. This was uh, the potato before that had the most growth, I mean the most green growth, and I've had to put these um, around it, they really look like pool noodles around it to keep them falling through. But this one did fall through because I guess they're not doing as well as far as growing. Uh, ah, there it goes. <laughs> oh man, it's rotting. Yeah, it's rotting away. But, uh, yeah, As you can see what's happening is is this is uh, this is actually mushy and rotting away, and uh, but anyway, what I was going to show you, whoops, was that the last time I looked at this before it rotted away, you could see some more um, potato shoots coming out. Now, I'm not sure what's what uh, has happened to it, but. Anyway, that's what you got there. <laughs> Boy, this is kind of bad. This was, uh, yeah. Anyway, it doesn't seem to like growing in the water for some reason. I guess maybe um, fungus or something attacks it or whatever. But let me put these down. Let's see how this other one's doing. Well, what I did want to show you was, I don't know, maybe we'll keep this going. Because if you look at this, the stem that just fell off, and I think it's because the potato is gone, or the, the, the old potato, is you can see there's some new potatoes trying to form. See that along the stem? And maybe I'll put this back in there and just see if it, it can continue to grow by itself and see what happens. Interesting. Look at this last one here. Let's see what's happening. This is this is remember a potato cutting, and it is growing. And there's some nodules got coming on it. Some of these nodules happening to appear. So I don't know what to make of this one. We'll keep this one in here for a little while longer. But anyway, it looks to me like we'll uh, try to keep this one going. And uh, man, we'll have to put something in there to keep this from falling through. But it looks like this one may continue. But we'll see. Anyway, that's the uh, potato update. Things are not looking really good. Well, good morning. It is the 10th of June today. I think it's five or six days since the last update. And remember, I'm going to try to keep some of this hydro uh, hydroponic potato thing going. But they didn't last. They uh, they, uh, they rotted away, and uh, so I thought I'd give a little recap of what I'm thinking. You know what what seemed to happen is on that last uh, video, on the last part of the video, uh, as I lowered them down, you know the uh, the stem that was lowered down did seem to produce new potato uh, buds on it. I guess you could call them. They didn't get very far because. Maybe I mangled them or manhandled the potato plant a little too much or something like that. Because what started happening was uh, it started to rot. And if you remember the one I said, well, we'll put this back in here and see if we can keep it going for a while. It didn't, uh, it didn't keep going for a while. It, it, uh, I am not sure what happened to it, but it just it started to rot away too. But anyway, it's interesting the growth patterns. You can see that the, the potatoes do grow in the dark, wherever it's light. They don't like that. And some of the potato nodules, if you want to call them that when they're that little, they start out growing, but they'll turn green right away. And as long as the sun was shining on them, they, they didn't grow. They didn't do much. Anyway, uh, now let me show you something else here that's interesting. With this uh, potato cutting, now let me show you something here. Now this one here is uh, sprouting some pretty good roots. It's not a lot, but uh, it's something. And see, there's growth coming on. Now let me show you this. See, there's a. Let me see if you can see that. There's a potato nodule there, and there's some growth here. 
Now, like I said before, I'm going to keep trying to sprout this one. Now, this one is looking like maybe, maybe the roots aren't that healthy for this one. I'm not sure. Ah, uh, anyway, well, I'll put it back and we'll uh, see if it wants to continue to grow. It's starting to look a little unhealthy. Uh, As you can see, there's some. Uh, it's burned. The leaves are burning a little bit, and, and that could be just because the sunshine's a little brighter now than it was. Maybe it just doesn't like that. Anyway, I just thought I'd uh, put this potato thing up. Kind of an informative, maybe educational, or or maybe you more experienced people are seeing exactly what I'm doing wrong. And then, you know, if you do. Uh, Please chime in, but these are my observations, and uh, I'm going to use this for something else now and uh, stop this potato thing. Unless this uh, starts to, uh, well, I'll plant that. If I get some good roots on it, I'm going to plant that cutting and see if I can make it grow. But I think that's it for now, and uh, I think that's it for the uh, hydroponic, aquaponic potatoes. Because... Uh, I couldn't make it work, but it seemed like in the beginning it was working pretty good. But anyway, there you go. I hope that was uh, informative or educational or or maybe, <laughs> like I say, I know what you did wrong. Well, you know, let me know because I've got a thick skin and I'm here trying to learn too. Anyway, thanks for watching and I, I hope it was worthwhile.